so let's have a discussion. We'll start with sampling, and uh, today we'll discuss what are the statistical concept. What is a population? What is a sample? And uh, what are the types of sampling, like in terms of attribute sampling and in terms of variable sampling? We'll see the sampling method. How to select the sample? First, what are the sampling methods we have, and how to select them? This is a good challenge for us. And uh, we'll discuss what are the process control techniques in order to when we are conducting the sampling procedures. What is a population? For example, population of any country or population of any, like the documents of any co company. Like we have sale invoices, we have purchase invoices, we have uh, maybe we are talking about Procter & Gamble, we are talking about big companies like Nestle. Uh, if we if they are talking about their sales invoices, they may, they may be in hundred of thousand sales invoices. So as an auditor, we cannot check everything. First of all, we cannot. The other thing is, it is not required because as per our internal auditing concepts, we have to provide a reason evaluations. Means based on the assessment of the risk and fraud and errors, we will define through formulas, mathematical formulas, how much intensive work is required. If fraud is less, errors are less, they have qualified people in their office and they have a strong infrastructure for enterprise resource system. So we can conclude that they don't need much intensive investigation because they are already uh, in a proper channel. This is we can do through a test of controls mm -hmm. and how to do sampling. This is we are going to discuss today, but this is as based on so many factors as we told you. Then we have uh, sample. Sample are the selection from population. For example, if we have a drum of rice and I put my hand and I pick something, this is called sample. Now I have to judge myself on sample. If I put my hand, I get the good one. So I will say this whole lot of rice is good. This is selecting the sample and making decision and applying it again on the population, right? Okay, then there are some statistical things in, in our general mathematics language. In our mathematics language, we have uh, average, right? Average is if there are six students in the class, we divide by six and we'll get one student average percentage. This is in sophisticated language, we have mean, median, and mode. Mean is a na another name of average. So I will say, I'll come and I have to select something. I'll say there are 10 students in the class. Some got 50, some got 90, some got 70 marks. But I want to give an average. I want to tell, see the, what this group they belong to. So I will take 50 plus 60 plus 70, whatever marks they have and whatever number of students they are, I will divide. So average will tell that they stand somewhere in 60 or 65 percent of the of the marks. So he says the shape, height, and width of the population distributions curves are quantified through its measures of central tendency. Central tendency means tendency towards the center. For example, like uh, in, a, in if in a family there are five brothers sisters. The center of the family is father and mother, you know. So we have to test the central tendency, you know, how much they are inclined to their parents. Same way, how much we will see this is an average. So how is people are away and deviated from that? It helps us to take decisions. Uh, this mean is the arithmetic average of the set of numbers. Median is the middle value. What we do is we arrange the data into, you know, if it is 1 to 100, there are so many observations. We take the middle value, obviously between 1 and 100 is 50 is the middle value. 
the mod is most prominent you know if i come in a class how many marks you have 70 how many marks you have 70 how many marks you have 70 so this is mod the most repeated most prominent stuff just for uh, one, once, you know, when I was in school, we were studying statistics. So my teacher, she has a uh, mode here. Mm -hmm. She has something. So she said, look, you know, the most prominent. <laughs> so same like, you know, the mode is the most prominent, which is most repeated into. So this one we'll see. Now, let's take an example of mean median mode. He says an investor has eight investments and calculate the center of uh, central tendency so obviously number of investment eight so eight will be the uh, dividing and then we have to see what is the population one two three four five six seven eight divided by eight so average investment for you know maybe he has invested in hsbc in barclays in say jp morgan or some other places so average, you know, if you see average is, for example, if I ask from you, if you're a business girl, uh, how much you earn every month? Because I want to calculate, you know, uh, not from you, okay, for example, from any girl who, who is willing to marry. So if I ask from her, look, you know, how much you earn? So I can plan, you know. And okay, should I buy a Range Rover? Okay, mm -hmm. or should I buy a Toyota Corolla you know, based on her income? So if she replies me, look, I earn sometime fifty thousand, sometime five thousand, sometime three thousand. So it's very difficult for me to plan. I cannot plan with uncertain income. So I'll say, okay, no problem. You tell me your last twelve months income. What I will do is 3,000, 5,000, 50,000, same like I will write this, I will add, divided by 12. So whatever is the answer is the average income of that girl. So I will decide, okay, should I marry this girl or not, uh, based on the average ones. This is the usage, practical usage of uh, average or a mean. Median is uh, in between, so take the values of the center divided by two. First you have to arrange from lowest to the highest level and then take the middle ones and divide it by two, this is so simple. And what is the most prominent, you can see the most prominent, this 52,000, 52,100 repeated two times. And out of these all information, there is no repeated data, so this is the most prominent recurring and this is the point. Let's talk about nominal distribution, normal distribution. There, is, there are two words, one is normal and one is abnormal distributions. Uh, but in mathematical terms, continuous and uh, you know, in mathematics we study, we have one, two, three. Then we have 1.1, 1 1.1.1.1, this kind of, this is continuous. So this is a normal distribution, or it's just for your information. Uh, he, he assume a certain, it's always bell-shaped when it comes to normal distribution, all people are normally bell-shaped. Uh, not as human, but in terms of, you know, graph. Yeah. So a certain sp a species of pine tree has an average interest height of 20. So this is average. Mm -hmm. Average is always in the center. So he just mark it as 20. Then he said with standard deviation. Deviation is difference. So standard deviation means on average, standardly, they deviate by one. So one trick means deviation, deviation, difference from an average, difference from an average on the right side. The conclusion from distribution below is that 68% of this uh, species will reach a height between 19 and 21. So he just marked it as 68. The rest, he said 99.5% will be between 18 to 22. So he make it like this way. And 99.7% uh, uh, will be between 17 and 23 with three standard deviation which is not shown in this diagram so this is 
you know, if we made this full diagram, this will be 99.7%. This is normal distribution. It's just to understand. What is confidence level? Confidence level is, if you see here, this is 99.5%. So 5% here is a confidence level. Confidence level is the percentage of the time the sample is expected to be the representative of the population. What is as much as the confidence level is higher means the we can trust the sample. And uh, you know, for example, uh, in some cultures, you send your parents to the home to of a boy or a girl. They see the brother or they see the girl and it is a sample so the original population is hidden so as the confidence interval is higher so they assume that the total population is more authentic reliable and seem like the sample this is the concept of confidence interval 